In my last video, I was looking at the Rui Deng DPH3205 book boost module and screen. And uh, if you've been watching my channel over the last year or so, you'll have seen this one, the Ming He D3806 book boost module. And I've been using this Ming He boost book converter for the last year quite happily uh, as my main book boost converter here in the solar shed. I have found a few issues however with the Ming He D3806 over the last year, so this video is about comparing the two and finding out which one I'll be using most often in the future. One of the major issues with the uh, Ming He for me is this uh, LED 8 segment display here which doesn't show up very well on the camera unless you get the right angle and cover it up that sort of thing so it's showing 12.68 volts here but there's no real way of showing that it is showing volts apart from the point the decimal point here and if we change it to current the decimal point moves over and we can see it's set to 846 milliamps, but uh, that's a bit of a letdown. The uh, user interface is okay, it works perfectly well. Uh, we can see the actual voltage there, and the actual current, nothing's connected, so there's no current flowing. The Rui Deng has a very clear screen though, on the other hand, doesn't it? It shows the settings here, 12 volts, 3 amps in this case, it shows the actual voltage going out, the actual current and the actual power and at the bottom it shows the voltage in as well. It shows whether the output is on or off, whether it's in constant current or constant voltage mode and uh, yeah this one definitely wins that particular competition. Okay so I've connected up the Ming He, uh, it's got a lamp on the output again, that th same 35 watt lamp and uh, I've set my oscilloscope here to be on single shot mode and uh, we're just going to turn the Ming He on at the mains. And there we go. Let's uh, take a closer look at that. So as I turn on the input to the Ming He, although the output's not meant to be on, I'm seeing a peak here of, we've got 500 millivolts, per division, so just over a volt there uh, goes through to your output. Now you need to be wary of that, so if you've got something connected to the output on the Ming He and you plug in the input, it's going to see a volt, if not a little bit more sometimes, and uh, that's a bit of an issue. It's not an issue as long as you remember it's there and you always connect the input before connecting anything at all to the output of the Ming He, but uh, I'm hoping the Rui Deng might be a little bit better in that respect. Okay, so exactly the same experiment here with the Rui Deng. Uh, the probes are connected across the output. There's also that 35 watt uh, lamp on there as well, and we're just gonna turn it on. So a similar thing here. In fact, this is showing almost one and a half volts uh, on the output there briefly. We're talking about 100 nanoseconds there, so it's uh, only for a very short period of time. But again, the same issue. Another issue with the uh, Ming He adapter is uh, two things really. The output, I think, is quite noisy, um, actually electrically noisy, and also the inductors squeal and uh, we might not be able to pick that up on microphone but I'm going to uh, put 3 amps and 12 volts into a 35 watt uh, incandescent bulb and uh, hopefully we can hear it. And we can also see that noise there on the screen of the oscilloscope. It's quite a noisy output on the Ming He. There is a little bit of ring on the output there. We can see um, we're getting 600 millivolts there at um, 12 volts, 3 amps, 35 watts. So uh, the output is a little bit messy on the Rui Deng. 
Now the final thing to look at in this video is the efficiency. So here's the Ming He first and uh, of course these won't be terribly efficient because they're doing both boost and book all at the same time. Um, so anyway, let's see what it does. I've got the same 35 watt lamp on the load. So if we turn this on, hopefully we can see. Uh, it's giving me 11.5 volts on the input there. I've got 40 watts on the input and 34 watts on the output of the Ming He, and it's in constant current mode, limited to 3 amps. Now I'm afraid this is almost completely impossible to get in uh, the whole shot on my bench, but uh, let's turn on the output. This is the Rui Deng, and uh, hang on. And here's the Rui Deng. On the input we've got 41, nearly 42 watts, and on the output we've got 35 watts. So actually I think the Ming He is ever so slightly more efficient. So I think the Rui Deng is a really good boost book converter, and I think possibly it's going to replace now the Ming He in the solar shed as my main power supply. The screen is so much easier to read, it's also easier to adjust the parameters on here. The noise of the Ming He is disturbing as well, that inductor ring and the electrical noise as well. The only issue of course with the Rui Deng is the fact that it's got this screen and a separate module and therefore you absolutely do need a project box to build it into. So that's my plan, I'm going to put this into this project box, banana plugs on the input and the output, and therefore it will be nice and tidy, and uh, hopefully become my main power supply here in the shed. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.